Chavante. Portuguese colonizers in the late 16th century occupied and ruled an area in Brazil, north of the Goaz region. The Ameri Indians were called Chavante for reasons not known, although they referred to themselves as Aue, which means people. The Chavante were strong and known to be rebellious. They defended their lands by raiding settlers' cattle and crops and attacking mining camps. Unfortunately, the Portuguese dominated them in 1784 as the Chavante were placed in mission villages guarded by the military. Although the Chavante had fiercely resisted invasion and dominion by the Portuguese, the period from 1784 to 1788 was known as the pacification by colonial governors when the Chavante were forced into submission. Dwelling in mission villages were not pleasant for the Chavante and some surviving Chavantes escaped the missions and settled in eastern Mato Grosso. The Chavantes wanted nothing to do with white people and avoided contact until 1946. The Brazilian government encouraged settlement on Chavante lands in the 1940s, leading the Chavante to find ways of dealing with the settlers and their customs, during which the Chavante maintained a strong sense of identity. The Chavante people, as well as all Ameri Indians in Brazil, were not given the right to vote until 1988. Today, they are considered full citizens. Mato Grosso in Portuguese means dense forest, where the Chavante people live. It is the size of France, Germany and Great Britain, quite large. The Chavante villages were also along the Rio das Montes, Montes River, until the land was sold to private companies during the 1960s, pushing the Chavante to the wasteland of eastern Mato Grosso. The forest was destroyed. Savannah grassland, known as Chavante land, provides Chavante the hunter-gatherer lifestyle, as is open country. It is not suitable for growing crops, although it is suggested that the Chavante prefers it to the tropical jungle. I personally am not too sure how true that is. Tropical areas do exist within their territories, and these provide them with water, wild roots and fruits, forming the basis of their diet. Trees, including palm, are used to manufacture various artifacts. The Chavante are artistic, involving body painting, songs and dances. They impart wisdom through rituals, the ways of life and survival. Their sense of community is vital to how they run their economy, as the survival of their entire group is determined by exchange of goods and distributed wealth to families, a give and take system. Today, the Ameri Indian tribes of Brazil still experience colonization. The groups who survived European invasion are continuously being forced off their lands by private companies. There is also a need for the Chavante to learn the national language and culture to function in this imposed way of life. It is difficult for them to maintain their traditional ways of living and adapt to the new. Although the Chavante are the most recognized of the Brazilian tribes, having representatives defend their rights and insist on better treatment. Mario Haruna, the first Ameri Indian Chamber of Deputy in Brazil's parliament, from 1983 to 1987, advised of dangers and wishes of his people, outlining, Indian wealth lies in customs and communal traditions and land, which is sacred. Indians can and want to choose their own road, and this road is not civilization made by whites. Indian civilization is more human. We do not want 
paternalistic protection in the style of a more powerful father from whites, Indians today want political power. <laughs>